Hey guys, welcome to Data Structure and Algorithm using Java. I am Ripon Dutta. Today's topic is Fibonacci number using dynamic programming. So let's get started. Alright, in mathematics, Fibonacci series is a series where first number is 1, second number is also 1, and the third number will be the previous summation of previous two number. That means 1 plus 1 equal to, then it will be 3. That means summation of immediate previous two number. So next one should be 2 plus 3 that means 5 and 5 plus 3 which is 8 and 8 plus 5 that means, that means 13 then 8 plus 13 21 and so on. So this is a Fibonacci series. Let's say fn equal this one. Okay now I want to use dynamic programming for calculating Fibonacci number. So in this case, I will be used recursive method. Let's say this is a stack frame. You know, in the recursive method, this method will call itself until a base case is satisfied. In this case, base case is this one. That means f1 equal 1, f2 equal 1. This is our, this two are our base case. In a um, recursive method, there at least we have one base case or more than one base case. So in this Fibonacci number, we have two base case, which is f1 and f2. So let's say I want to find out the f and equal let's say 6 that means f6 f6 equal what so f6 equal should be f5 plus f4 so in this way this recursive method will call itself again with 5 that means it will be like this way it will create another stick frame where n equal 5 so f5 equal f4 plus f3 then it will call another stick frame for f4 that means this is for f4 n equal 4 so f4 equal f3 plus f2 then it will call another restrict frame for f3 that means for n equal 3 f3 equal f2 plus f1 we know f1 equal 1 and f2 equal 1 that means 1 plus 1 which is 2 so it will return to from the stick frame to here that means f3 equal 2 and we know that f2 equal also 1 so which is 3 in dynamic programming same calculation we will do one time that means okay i will show you so we calculated f4 so f4 will come here which is 3 okay and you know f3 we already calculated so we don't need to calculate this again so f3 equal 2 and it will come back here which is f4 f5 equal 5 right and we already calculated f4 which is 3 that means 3 so it will be 8 so in dynamic programming we will compute the same thing one time and we will use next time if we need so that means in this case we calculated f3 so you can see we already calculated f3 here so we don't need to calculate this again we are just use the result 
and we already calculated a 4 here so we do need to calculate this again so we will use the result so this is the main advantage of dynamic programming and it is called memorization dynamic programming means memorization kind of memorization so we in this case we don't need to um, recompute more and more for a single instance now let's get started with the clips file menu java project we already have the project so take a class give the class name Fibonacci dynamic programming finish okay so in this case integer or say f equal new integer let's say 50 so for i equal 0 to i less than 50 i plus plus fi initially we our all fibonacci number is minus 1 that means this is not computed yet then we need to private static integer fibo f and our value plus the n okay if f n is less than 0 that means minus 1 on that time we will do it otherwise it will return fn because this is that means if the fn is not less than 0 that means greater than 0 on that time this number is already computed so we will just use it otherwise if n equal 1 or n equal to we will return 1 otherwise return fibu f and minus 1 plus fibu f and minus 2 all right now stream out f let's say i want to get um 5 oops i need to call the method which is fibo all right run f5 is 5 you know that f6 is 8 and f7 is 13 okay so this is working so in this case you can see that if fn is not less than 0 that means which is already computed on the time we will just use this value so this is one kind of memorization which is computed we always memorized the value oops we need to add fn we need to store the fn value so and we need to even first oops so it will be fn equal 1 and it will be else part 
one right now we can debug it put the breakpoint press f11 then f5 now you can press f5 and you can look at the value right you can see that f1 is 1 f2 is also 1 hey you can see in this position 1 so now it will create 3 which is 2 and f4 which is 3 and so on so thank you very much for watching this tutorial if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe this channel and share this video if possible make a positive comment in the comment box so see you soon in the next tutorial the next tutorial will show you some different kind of sorting algorithm and thank you